With Dawn Trail around the corner, I've been logging in, grinding, and tying up loose ends in Endwalker. I'm a console gamer. I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV since Around We're Born on PS3. Then I got a PS4, and then I got a PS5. But now, I'm playing on my MacBook Pro. Let's talk about it. He has come too. My wife and I have been playing this game for over a decade. In that time, we've built a whole family. Gone are the days of getting home, sitting in the living room, and gaming on our tandem flat screens. With the little ones, we gotta be a little bit more flexible. I love my M1 MacBook Pro. I take it everywhere. And if you're someone who loves their M1 and is interested in MMOs and Final Fantasy XIV, I've just given you another reason to love it even more. You're welcome. When I pair my M1 MacBook Pro with my PS5 controller, it's basically a console level experience. Actually, it might be better. And before you start asking me about the beefiness of my laptop, I'll concede that my laptop is really like that. It's an M1 Pro Max system stats in the description, but my wife has a standard M2 MacBook Pro. She's been playing Final Fantasy XIV on console since the PS3 days and all the way up until now, and she actually prefers it on the Mac as well. Look, we are an Apple family, and there's absolutely no reason to even look at PCs anymore. We purchased the Steam Deck, and I like the Steam Deck. I played Final Fantasy XIV on the Steam Deck, but it's still better on the Mac. It's the best of so many worlds, light, portable, plug and play, controller support, keyboard, trackpad, beautiful 14 inch display. Now as far as frames per second on the M1 MacBook Pro, um, the game achieves that 30 to 60 frame per second range, which is highly acceptable, but a lot of the times it exceeds it. If you're someplace like Costa del Sol, uh, you can 100% see 119 FPS. Um, if you're if you're at a, a a normal expert roulette, it'll start off around 120 and maybe dip to about 80. Um, now, if you're in downtown Limsa Liminsa, like where everybody's performing, hanging out, and doing all types of wild stuff, yeah, you're gonna see it dip down to the 20s to the 40s. It just depends on how much uh, you're, you're you're putting on the system. Not every place is Limsa Liminsa, and honestly. I don't really get into talking about FPS, which shows that I'm a true console gamer, because typically, it's not something we can control. You put the game in the box, and it works, period. Unless we're talking about the initial Cyberpunk launch. Bottom line, on the M1, Final Fantasy XIV performs like a console. No tinkering, no prep. The most you'll have to do is ensure you have enough hard drive space for the game and shut down any applications you aren't using to save RAM. We've gotta start putting respect on the name of Apple in this gaming space. Since the arrival of M1, things have changed. I've been a Mac user longer than I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV. For a device to be this light, portable, and powerful enough to play the best MMO on the market, this is incredible. I know, those are some hot takes and there are a ton of PC gamers rolling their eyes, but it's really that good. And there are even more AAA games coming to the Mac. I doubt this will make a PC gamer switch, but it will make a console gamer in the market for a computer think twice. And to that point, I shot this video to bring awareness to the greater MacBook slash Apple Silicon community to get them to try Final Fantasy XIV because obviously, Money is no object to us, and I mean that literally because the game is free up to level 70. Link in the description. I'm pretty sure that Final Fantasy XIV would work on one of the newer MacBook Airs, but I would warn against this because those devices don't have fans. I played Final Fantasy XIV all weekend before shooting this video doing dungeons, fetch quests, and the fans never turned on. I've seen it happen before while playing, but it's usually pretty rare. That said, I'd rather have fans in my device than not have fans. If you're playing this on a MacBook Air, I haven't heard anything about the MacBook Air's overheating, but I would just be careful and I just wanted to share my preference. That is the end of this video. I plan to make more Final Fantasy XIV content. I'll be back later to give my impressions of Dawn Trail on the Mac 
during early access. If you are playing Final Fantasy XIV on Apple Silicon, show your solidarity, drop a comment, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.